you know, we've talked with People's Bank before about the ways they give back to the customers. Today, Casey Lequire is here, Senior Vice President with People's Bank, to talk about a new campaign called Positively Peebo. Great to have you here today. It's great to be with you, Susan. Thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah. Well, you know, I know uh, last year uh, Tyler Wilcox was here, and we were talking about the, for the 120th anniversary, the 120 acts of kindness that yes. you all were doing, you and all your staff members. So tell us about this new one that you all are doing. Absolutely. You know, over the course of 2022, like we've seen real tangible impact with uh -huh. 120 acts of kindness. Mm -hmm. Just seeing our associates out in the communities making an impact, the entire People's Bank family, mm -hmm. it was something special to be a part of. And as we've discussed before, you know, we, we desire to be the best community bank in America. Mm -hmm. And to do that, we have to show our communities that we're engaged right. and involved. And Positively Peebo is the way that we look to do that uh, mm -hmm. coming into, into 2023. Yeah, I, I, it's more than just a place where you go and uh, get withdrawal money or deposit right. money. You know, banks do so much more. Talk about the hashtag Positively Peebo. So, you know, working together, building success is our tagline. Uh -huh. That's kind of our culture. That's the way we live. That's the way we function on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh -huh. uh, Peebo is actually our NASDAQ symbol, and oh, okay. it's kind of our nickname. So okay. you'll re we'll refer to ourselves as the Peebo family. So we created Positively Peebo uh -huh. uh, as kind of our rallying cry for 2023. It's an opportunity for us uh, to not just give a financial investment into the community, right. but sweat equity into the community. So you'll see our associates out in the communities mm -hmm. uh, buying lunches for teachers and serving lunches. Uh, you'll see us showing up at a local fire department with a new grill. Um, oh, you know, we've, yeah. we've actually, uh, later next week, we'll have some folks down in East Kentucky uh, volunteering at the senior games. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, maybe sometimes on a mobile food pantry truck delivering mm -hmm. meals in the community. So, you know, Susan, you can't be the best community bank in America if you're not intentional about being engaged in the right. communities that you serve. And we're really excited about what Positively Peebo will bring in 2023. Yeah, you have to get outside the office, get out there get in the out. community. And that's what the, we were looking at some pictures and yeah. it looked like some of your, your uh, staff, your coworkers have been out there and been busy helping others this year. We, we've got to have a lot of fun in the, in, in the process. Uh -huh. So, you know, walking a dog in an animal shelter. Oh, I mean, yeah. uh, it, it's the little things that we can do in the community that's really sometimes what's needed the most. Uh -huh. Yeah, so do you all have any other plans uh, for the rest of the year? Because, I mean, it looks like you've been pretty busy right here doing a lot of volunteer work. It has. You know, if you, if you think back to 2022 and the 120 Acts of Kindness, uh -huh. uh, you know, at the end of the day, there was probably more like a 160 uh, because there's <laughs> right. so many opportunities. Right. Uh, and so many things to do that um, we just, it's hard to say no sometimes when there's mm -hmm. opportunities uh, to make a difference in the community that you live. And this is where we all live and work. And, mm -hmm. uh, we want to make an investment that, that matters to people where they are. Yeah. Anything else you want to share with folks uh, tuning in right now about what all you all are working on and what you're doing? Absolutely. Thank you for asking. You know, we are, uh, we just recently announced the acquisition uh, of Limestone Bank, which is headquartered over in Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. Uh, so we're really excited that over the next few months we'll be rebranding those branches into the People's Bank Network. Mm -hmm. uh, so today we now have over 40 branches in Kentucky, over oh 25 in West Virginia, 60 in Ohio. Uh -huh. uh, so it's exciting to be a part of an organization that's growing. Uh, but it's not just great for the business, it's, it's another opportunity for us to expand those communities where we feel like we can make a positive impact there as well. So exciting times for it us. It sounds at like it, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, and if someone's never even opened up a checking account, now might be the time to do so. You know, it, it's, Susan, you know, what we talk about a lot internally is that there is the number one stress today for uh -huh. American adults is financial stress. Yep. So we can't control the environment that we're in, right. uh, but you know we can meet people where they are. So whether that's an insurance need, an investment need, a leasing need, a retail or commercial banking need, mm -hmm. um, you know that's one of the value propositions of People's Bank is mm -hmm. we're able to kind of meet multiple needs under one roof. So mm -hmm. whether it's you, a family member, a friend, uh, we, we just want to show up and have a conversation where mm -hmm. we're needed the most, and uh, mm -hmm. we look forward to opportunities like that. Well, great. Well, Casey, thanks so much for stopping by and having a conversation with us today. Yes, Thank you. And we've got some information up there right now if folks want to learn a little more about what you all do, and it's just pebo.com. <laughs> thanks for coming by today. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah.